Okay, lift your arms up and down. Look at look at who's the main one following instructions. This could be the chill out. Look at him doing full-fledged gingerbread man stance. F out of here. Anything you say, you wanna Hold up, hold up. Previously on. No, 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 no. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. No! Fuck am I playing? Paper Mario? They just put a leash on this dude. They put a collar on him, drug him to the depths in use. What are we watching, y'all? I mean, they latched him and they're dragging him. Yo, Leon got set up though. The 1,000 blow. The audio from the mic did not record. It is fixed for the next episode. If you have been enjoying Dang and Rampa, make sure you hit that like button. Enjoy the video. Dang and Rampa, finna get off on the beat. Yeah, yeah, you know me. Very easy. I ain't gonna beat me off my head. But you know that. What's his name? Leon is dead. You tried it. Sayaka. 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 Kuwabara. Yulagara. Supatara. Stupid What? Get your back. To another episode of Dang and Rampa. So I know y'all see it, bro. Let's just talk about it. Ooh, I'm fresh. I know I am. Y'all gonna be in the comments doing y'all thing, but look at this. It's it's July 1st. I'm still wearing beanies in July 1st. Half of the year is officially done, and I was wearing a beanie the whole time because I wanted to hide my, my new my new lineup. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But you know what? I'm still hiding because you know. <laughs> Y'all let me know. If I'm, a, if I'm able to stop wearing beanies on the channel, I don't think that I should though. They're kind of my thing now. No, I'm not trying to copy Dashie, but he is the big inspiration for me. You know, we both got heads, we're trying to hide. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Let's get into it. I got my cough, I got my, you feel me? Mikado, we are really back with the bro Mikado. Oh my gosh, let's do it, Big Mac. It's been a, are you, are you asleep? What's going on? What the fuck? Okay, this, okay. A lot, a lot of things you can observe, but let me check my, um... Let me check... Outside. Let's just, let's just get into it. He won't talk or speak, like, hello? Is this a limb roller? Okay. Mikado, just go to sleep then. Why are you walking around if, like... Ugh. Oh, he must have just saw me on pass in front of everybody, and he's like, wow. Should we go in the bathroom? Let's try the bathroom then. Oh my god, this is such a fire storyline. He's still quiet. It's gone. Oh wow, the body. She she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. The reason I'm wearing this beanie, real quick, the reason I'm wearing this beanie instead of my other one is because I think volume one is over, but we don't really have that much merch left. Appreciate all of y'all, love all of y'all, thank you for supporting. Just give volume two up for, uh, for fall. After the class trial, headbands, visors. Bye, uh, we'll see. <laughs> After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monica told us what he said. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot, since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay, what do you think? Me just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it, it can't go up that high. <laughs> That's an octave I can't reach, hello. I didn't even have time to warn Sayaka and Junko's death. I forgot about Junko. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm light. Sorry I'm what so, light? Um... Oh, she got a little... I like her voice, okay. 
Hey, are, are you okay, Mikado? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back out here! Yo, sorry, dude. Chill. Mm. Mm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? Ha 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 I imagine it'd be pretty hard to sleep with the rotting corpse in your bathroom smelling like death and peppers. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. If I was Mikado, I'd be sleeping like a baby in Sayaka's room. Sayaka, you tried you try to portray me earlier? <laughs> Karma, Karma's a bitch. Good night. Get out of here. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. M Mikado. Um. Hey, hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Here come Trump. Huh? Huh? Hmm. We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But, but if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling your... <laughs> he said, stop talking. I'll be over here in the real world, working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um... What do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced and they are providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape, we we'll just have to follow the rules. This dude finna be the next killer, bruh. I'm already calling it. He finna be the one to make the next move because he's a little too ready for whatever. And then he with the shits. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you. See, look at him and win the game. No. No. What? No what? I, I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? Look at him smiling, bro. Where have you been at? You been in the back getting cushed up? Oh, gee. <laughs> it's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But we all want to die. But... but so, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right, dumbass? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you keep up that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. She's just sad about it. Shahira, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would happen to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. Yo, Monokuma flew like thousands of baseballs at this dude. High velocity pitches. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Oh, he heard you, Mikado. He heard you. He heard you. He heard you. What's the deal? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Okay. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such, it is officially nighttime. Nighttime, yeah. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, 
And one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. What? See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. He heard you! The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Ooh. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. What, what do you buy? You have half a mouth of teeth. What do you eat? Cigarettes, bitch? I don't know, bro. <laughs> How you got one side of your whole mouth with no teeth? You're not eating with that. He's not eating anything. That's why he's sipping that wine right there. Oh, vegan, bitch. With me. That piece of shit! Who does he think he is? Ah! Oh wow. Yeah, he heard you, bro. And so the day grew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Who is that? Oh, that's not Mondo right there, bro. That's Kuwabara. I don't want to lose him yet. I woke up to the next day to Monokuma's normal announcement, then he called us <gasps> all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Look at, look at who's the main one following instructions. This dude needs to chill out. Look at him. Doing full-fledged gingerbread man stands. F*** out of here. Anything you say, Monokuma! Hold up, hold up. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> What'd I tell you? Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Yo, I always so fine, bro. But are they high schoolers or seniors? You know, cause seniors be 18. Shit, look at me. Shit, I was, I wasn't. I was 17 as a senior. <laughs> 18, my first year of college. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, adults. Y'all scare me still. <sighs> Doesn't this just feel great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy! <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside! <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff! That's my motto! Yeah <laughs> Wow! I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just a die for? <laughs> Am I just a die and ready? Right, what? What word is that? Agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Mm. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise, huh? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Ooh, message. <clears throat> Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will first uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours! Mm -hmm. That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. Of course, he he weird, bro. It doesn't matter, just get to the oh, it doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um Of course not! You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Oh okay, so then hmm. ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trauma here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It really sucked if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. She's talking about the second floor. Remember the second floor is, is blocked off? We went a whole chapter with our normal was in there. Besides, I know how kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep them motivated. Very nice. 
Now go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world to you explode. Oh, you know I gotta hit that up. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But, a new world. Could it be? Is he, is he talking about a, a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look at it. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source! No, let's get moving! <laughs> oh, Tiger, bro. I love, I love his tenacity and his spirit. He do not, he do not let Buyaka throw him off for anything. I just wanna say though, I miss Junko so bad, like, I miss her. Like, what are we doing? Like, I miss that so much, bro. <laughs> I miss it. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, let me see what I can what I can look at. I'm not gonna look at that. These cameras see everything. Are they always watching this? Don't they ever get tired of it? It took everything I had even just to think about monkey in them. And to, wait, it took everything I had just to think about monkey in them? What? Okay, yeah, look, let's, get, let's get up out of here. See, I already know where to go though. I already know where to go. How to carry What the heck? Hey, Mikado. Did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that, that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. We're serious. That stuff you see lined up in there? Any god can come by and use it to send a message. What are you talking about, dude? Play off the kush. Uh -huh. I've been struck with knowledge. It's, it's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. This is that kush, bro. I've been told y'all he on that stuff, bro. Any god can come by and take it out or use it. What? Uh, can I see what he saw? If I talk to him and get into the same combo, let me out of here. <laughs> let me out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely need to leave him alone, bro. Look at him, bro. The game is telling you he off that man. He off that purple arc with that granddaddy. <laughs> So I think what they had, yes, I told y'all, I told y'all, the gate that was blocking the stairs has been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. I'm sure, but there's gotta be something here. There's gotta be something here. What could it be? What should I fear? Just a second! Oh, Mikado, hey, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? Oh, ooh, there's a pool here, a oh, pool! Pool, pool, pool! You don't have to keep repeating it, I got okay. you. Okay. And there's tons of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. And this seems way more excited than usual. If everybody's hyped about equipment to work out, that's pretty weird. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they get a little pool with some water in it and then they just forget about murder and death. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I, I kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm 
not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go to the locker room, you weirdo? It's just three girls here. Um... They all got clues. It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. She, she might got a ding a now that I'm sitting there thinking about it. Which is fine, <laughs> you know? Do what you want, your body, not mine. Hello. Just don't be surprised if somebody, you take off them drawers and somebody go... You know what I'm saying? Like, be prepared for that. That's all I'm saying. Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. <laughs> of course! This thing, here you go. Really, really? Oh. <laughs> hmm. If you want to unlock the locker room, you have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card when you're next to the door. Remember that, y'all. You need the handbook to get into the locker room. Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only your boy's handbook can open up a boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bop. And that's the bop line. But... Shout out Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hmm. But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Good point. <gasps> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for the scandalous sexual depravity. Damn! See? There's a gatling gun mounted on the ceiling. Yeah. And it'll be all... Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um... Um, no. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ha! That never occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so coward, so devilish! Hmm? Hmm. Okay, then how is this stuff? I got it! Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! <laughs> there! So now, nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. <laughs> no racial. Honestly. Because he's, he's black. Half black, I guess, huh? Whoa. I do not imagine anyone would have left their name book out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be half responsible for anything that a person might do with the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all your teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs. You're at that age, you try pumping a plastic bottle. <clears throat> what? In all my years, bruh, and I got issues. I'm gonna be honest with you. I got some issues. I never have a plastic bottle. Pillows. Uh... I'm gonna leave it at that, bro. I'm not even finna get on here and be, to be expose myself like that. But these exposed. Hello! <clears throat> so to keep anything unseemingly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same closed eyes on our doors. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the whole image of the school itself. Yes. The yes. holy, holy, I don't care what happens in your private door rooms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later. Okay, so the regulation is invisible. place. See ya. Oh. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me, ladies? As for me... There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my robot face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll, I'll pass this time. Huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. That's so true. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you and me, Mikado, bitch. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? Who do you fear? Crystal clear. <laughs> Trying to sip a beer in a pool, what'd it do? I'm in a, I'm in, all right, the second floor, the second floor has opened up, oh yeah. Do you? Okay, we already talked to them. So now I'm, I'm gonna slide my e-finger inside the locker room. I'm finna do my thing real quick. Let me slide up in here. Let me slide up in here. Me, who is that? Hold up. Damn! Now this is an interesting poster. Obviously someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this in here? In the, in the dude locker room? Man. Am I all high school? 
Yo, kid, yo, kids was kids was doing some weird stuff at my whole high school. I'm not even gonna talk about it, but the dugouts is where I went down. I'm telling you, you go to the dugout to get dugout if you was a girl. No, I'm gonna, how long am I going to be stuck here being watched by all these cameras? Um, what is this? Okay, so we got a little pool with some laps you can, you can hit up in here. Indoor pool too? Okay, I mean, what would be outside? <laughs> Where is outside? I would love to see outside. Okay, so that's moving me around the pool area. Okay, lockers. Well, I would expect to see that at any normal pool. Got me a little coin. 91 coins, my lord. Um... This is significant, not, not for some reason, but not right now. I don't wanna look at that anymore. Stop showing me that, what is that like? Oh, that gets me over to that area. And then, nothing to notice here, okay. Very nice pool area. Let me look in the locker room one more time. Let me just scan around, maybe get a coin or two. 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 Coin or two. Bro, this, this, this beat is just, it crank, bro. <laughs> this beat crank, I don't talk about my ratchet. Huh? I mean, that's a gamer joke. <laughs> that's why I said it on this channel, not the main channel. Speaking of the main channel, I'm finna do an expose, bro. Teen Titans exposed. I'm gonna have Teen Titans and Teen Titans going in. Everywhere I go, bro, I can't avoid the expose series. So it's like, why not give y'all what y'all asking for? You know? Let's get it. I'm not even finna try to go into the girls' locker room. I know somebody was like, you didn't check the girls. I'm not finna check that. Now with the three girls sitting right in front of it. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. Okay. So right up the stairs, pull to the left. Girls, guys, bathroom. Make a right around the corner, 2A. Second floor, sec second floor, A classroom. Anybody else in here? This baby is sleeping in pee. Can it please be quiet? Look at Monica with ugly ass. Okay. Sakura. I need your workout recipe. I see. Tino train you, huh? Body by Tino? This must be what he meant by a new world. <laughs> I should probably take a really close look around. Do you think? Um, yeah, you got it. Two ways that this is your room. Um, then it's just a hallway. That's the three third floor. have the library on the second floor. Library, pool, 2A, and a restroom. Okay, everybody up in this one. I'm gonna talk to her. She, she got the most sense right <sighs> now. Uh, it's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. Her and Makata have the same voice because they both like, you know, normal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. Fair enough. It's a little, it's a little musty. <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked! How come? Damnation! They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my works! <sighs> well, yeah, why would they have comics in the library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfics is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs! <laughs> You just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> I do get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> oh, they've been body each other. They've been have beef. Say whatever you want about me, but never get a book by the author. No, nothing. Now hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the wind that contains the mini poop of my genius. Here we go. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think a weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? This nigga a loser. These two really worry me. Why would I just have to just sit here and hear that beat? He's gonna say the same thing. Damnation! Mr. Nate! You understand, don't you? No, nothing! 
You know how stupid it is? Alright, come on. Appearances mean nothing at all. Here we go. Okay. You say that, but. Okay, alright. Well, y'all know what you're talking about. Hmm. But still, this library is. Excuse me. Most interesting. Huh? What's interesting about Stop it? Stop talking. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. What you talking about? The shelf is <gasps> packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of the upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. What's up, girl? You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> not particularly. Nothing's really c caught my attention so far. Mm hmm. Indeed. There's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Where's the comic books? Where's the adult, young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic? Y'all gonna beef again? Come on. Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I see what you read, mm -hmm. Miss Fukawa. Mm -hmm. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? My stories are filled with you love it, pure feelings don't compare me to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady does protest too much, we think. So I bet you're secretly in a boy on boy action, huh? For <laughs> boy on boy? I don't care if it's an enemy or a promise or fifth or whatever. <laughs> It's all filth! Throw away cords that will be trashed and forgotten in half a decade! Yeah. Ugh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach! I just feel like I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> You've insulted me and you've insulted my other! These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like that. I bet we go and catch them in a room by themselves, tonguing it down so viciously. What's behind this door? <laughs> some kind of archive. All I saw in there was a stack of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. Sure, I don't really have a reason to check it out. Why would you let him keep you out? Him of all people, you're not gonna just buzz up in there and see for yourself? Okay. What? Well, I think there might still be more to look at in here. Okay, well, oh, the letter, the trigger. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. Is this Hope's Peak Academy? Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust and must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. I broke the seal in the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we've been committed to the shape to, sh uh, <coughs> to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What's this mean? That, that letter probably been there for, for years. <laughs> the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... You see Hope speak, he, Hope speak had stopped functioning as a school. Judging by the amount of dust this letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have just happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So, you're saying Hope Speak Academy closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. 
Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have been all part of the mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already been closed down. Hmm. That would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other place? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. And make no mistake, this is not the end of P. Yep, we intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues are seen our school have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? Now, if... If the two events are in fact connected, Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue, on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say anymore until we find out more <laughs> details. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. Duh! The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Literally, is it this? It's never this. Please let me out. What else am I missing? Oh, the laptop. Okay, I'm like, bro, don't put that so close to her. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's happening in the outside world. It's broken. There's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty good, a good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Nice. Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. There's a library! Okay! And a pool, a freaking pool! And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment! Well... There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see! Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait, do you hear about my amazing discovery? Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of flu, clothes, whatever you want! There's so much it's insane! <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. <laughs> Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at night time is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here, huh? You find anything like that, huh? <laughs> oh, well, um... What? There wasn't what? anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here! Nothing, huh? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people, huh? What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, huh? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there is no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover anything. So then... So, are we done for today? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? Look at him though, look at him though. Uh-oh. Uh it's nighttime now. Hmm. <coughs>
in. This is a school. As such, soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Sweet. Good night. Good night. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. If I wake up. Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. Monokuma's pretending to be uh, Big Mac right now. That's, this is Big Mac's, uh, what you gonna call? I could get into a decent college where I make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend, which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You Sorry. see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? No cryptic, no, alright, what up cryptic, sorry bro. <laughs> Good morning everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet- Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated! New regulations have been added! So please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. That's what that's how we need is more rules, bro. The new rules may added to the regulations menu. He must be referring to yesterday. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. I right, so we'll get the breakfast and then I'll probably end the video right there. I just want to see if there's been an update to like what's been going on. I don't want to lose any more people, but why do I feel like that's gonna happen? If somebody doesn't show up for breakfast, I'm gonna be hot, bro. And it better not be Mondo. Everybody hey, here? Makoto. Hey, good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Buyaka and Taka. Buyaka's no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> no, Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. <laughs> I'm sh. Oh, sorry. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well. W why me? Let's see. Your roundest figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason, you weirdo, you fat shaming bastard? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh, um. Uh, okay. Apparently unable to refuse the last order, Hafumi sculpted away into the kitchen. And a few minutes later, ugh. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Hafumi reappeared with the train hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> You could have made some for the rest of us, you know? There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. Okay, you got it. <laughs> it's all about the law of causality. Basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in oh. her hand. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Ooh. Ooh. What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um, uh, uh, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I reply, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I imagine those who prefer the milk to be the part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet, the way adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like gossip your fries and ketchup. 
mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review the menu to see it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. What, bitch? If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea. And you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well... Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You just asked me to make you this shit and just told me to go in the kitchen and do it myself. Do I look like I work at Starbucks? I write comic books filled with boobies and ash. You little bitch! Oh, oh! Look at her face, y'all! Yo, I'm gonna have nightmares that I face. Hold up! I'm gonna be doing this in the morning. Hello! Oh, that does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I do so love coercion. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. Damn shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. Oh my gosh. But... <laughs> Bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Guayaculio refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. <gasps> maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that meant. It, it might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! I, I was just about to suggest the same thing! What's your problem? Stop trying to put up everyone! Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then... Very well, then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Buyakaya. But what... So where might Kuya have gone? Maybe he went to check out that second floor of the school again. I already know where he is, y'all. I'm not even gonna talk to Celeste, bro. She on some shit, bro. <laughs> Somebody on some cushion. She on some PMS right now. Cushion PMS school. Peak Academy. She used to be saying hey. this stuff. So you thought to come here too. Huh? So you think about what Kuya <laughs> You think about what Kuya was so interested in yesterday. You can probably guess where he is right now, right? Oh, I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. It's in the library, y'all. In that back room. Look, 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 look. Ooh! When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Kuya! <sighs> of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Kuya snapped his book shirt and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding! <sighs> the heck are you doing in here, man? <sighs> you want a hit? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned! <laughs> well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. 
I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... What, what were you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel. Well... Wait, so are you gonna use what you're learning in there to portray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind. Whoa! If... what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have <coughs> you have to make sure you're entertaining. <laughs> it's worse than a chill down my spine. There was some undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. It looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up! Huh? <laughs> but it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <gasps> he is right. It's a zero sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is a part of a game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for positional resources. You mean like a kind of elimination match like Hunger Games or Fortnite? Actually... Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life where we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So in other words... So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. <laughs> that, that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But, but, but why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you had, don't it, if you, <laughs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir apparent. <sighs> It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you ended up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply is impossible. You son of a bitch! Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Ooh. Piece of shit! Ooh, it's starting. It's starting. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... <sighs> do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious. Even if it's life and death situation. Uh, that's kind of fire though. It is fire, but like his approach is, is flawed, bro. Good idea, flawed execution. <laughs> is that not so, Kuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar, dirty mouth of yours, you bitch. Oh! Well, well, I do apologize. Hm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try hard. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? No. Th that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? To kill your own friends is... is it's horrific! It's horrific! Hm. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But... 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 but you, you know... What? 
but what? Stop trying to force your stupid contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um. Uh, um. Come on. Yes? If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your filthy whore mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back, huh? You want to turn it on me, huh? <laughs> so, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? How long do you think that's Piece of shit! Fuck you. What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. Ooh, Kuya, Kuya Savage! Kuya is a savage. He like that. He like that. I don't know, he like that mob. He like that mob scary. Mama was that. Mom you was son that. of a bitch. He that street scary, but like, I don't know. That's it. You're fucking dead. Huh? Just a second. Uh, hold, hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit. A uh, air call. Uh. How is this call? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. A waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Ugh, shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something, eh? Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Kuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. What? Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then, eh? Maybe. But what, but what he said... He might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Mm. Hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway. Well, it's not like any of them would care even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I think you won't want me gone. You won't think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. Uh, uh, I'm telling you. You just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people would like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <laughs> you think I don't know? But I do. You will be gone. And I'm what the sure heck? the rest of you are the same thing. It's Toko, wait. <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Wow. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. Shit, me too. <laughs> but I don't have time. But I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time. And with that, y'all, 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 smooth what I was gonna do. Y'all, smooth what I was gonna do. Save, save. Uh, overwrite, yes sir. Overwrite that. Yo, so that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. Season's heating up. This, wait, season, no, the chapter is heating up. Episode one of chapter two. Really starting off great. I can already see some of the relationships and how. I don't know though, because I was thrown off last last chapter. And this one I did not expect. I don't know what to expect. We're still filling it out. I don't want to say too much, do too much, poo too much, pee pee too much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Yes, you right there watching on your phone or tablet or, or computer. Hello? Hello? I'm trapped in here. I'll see you in the next video.